What's up, you guys? What's up, divas? Divas? What's up, YouTube fam? What's up? Who suits this video better than me? Grandmother of five grandkids. I'm saying, you know, so who can do it better than me? The granny wig, okay? So first of all, y'all guys know I got grandkids. I got five grandkids, okay? Four beautiful little boys and one little granddaughter. And let me tell y'all, it's an amazing thing to be a grandparent. It really, really is. So I definitely enjoy it. So I hope I enjoy it just as much as I'm going to hope I enjoy doing this wig tutorial. This is not the first time that I've ever done a salt and pepper colored lace front wig. I think it's probably like the third time, maybe even the fourth time. But this time I got a little bit more wiggle room in it because it's more lace. Um, I think it seems to be a little bit longer than the other ones that I've reviewed. Maybe, maybe not. It's just probably different lace. Um, it is salt and pepper. You can see it on the camera. Let it pick up, let it pick up. And what I did was I did bleach it. I bleached the knots a little bit because they weren't really bad, but I wasn't, I was hoping that they would bleach because the wig was salt and pepper, but it did lift. The hair is silky smooth, so it's very nice to the touch. I thought it was loose wave. I'm not really sure, but I did put my own little spin on the unit. Try to give it like a conservative look due to the hair color, but girl, look, you could do a whole lot of nice styles with this type of hair. You don't have to be a grandmother to have salt and pepper hair. You could do it just for the trend, the style, girl. You could just do it because you want to. And some people's hair just turns gray, salt and pepper at an early age. Oh, I got a couple grays though, you know, a couple, couple little grays here in the front perimeter of my hair. So we're gonna get into this video. I'm gonna show you guys how your wig comes and we're gonna just do this. guys is from Y Wigs and it is a I believe it's a 13 by 6 lace front it's a 13 by 6 lace frontal so you have plenty of parting space in it I'm not really sure the lace type I'll definitely link it below I did press it I did bleach it I did pre pluck a little bit of the hairline it really didn't need much there are combs and an adjustable strap in the nape and this time around I did not put an elastic band so hopefully we don't need it so let's just do this I should 
look i think i did pretty decent with the curl structure the curl style i was just trying to give something classy you know contemporary conservative i was trying to do all of those things girl in this one wig okay because of the color of the hair i just felt like this would cater to more mature women and so let's get a more mature woman hairstyle going so the hair is pretty easy to curl it held the curl i think i curled it probably like about four or five days prior to recording this now the lace got me a little bit off because it's a little bit too tinted for my skin complexion so i had to kind of like conceal it a tad bit by just brushing some of the hairs downwards making it look like it's just a little bit of tousled hairs you know how we have our own natural baby hairs and they're just all over the place so that's why i gave it that type of look in the front so that way you wouldn't see like the darker tint edges on a wig once i hide it it's not too bad okay so the lace is not too bad it's just a little tinted for your curl okay so the unit came out cute you see how i just Put my little hairspray and blow dryer and such you know I like the way they did the coloring of it it did a really nice job with the salt and pepper look and the hair it didn't dry it out it's just like a medium luster so you know I've worked with wild wigs plenty of times and they do cater to a lot of different wig wearers when I say cater to a lot of different wig wearers you know they got salt and pepper they got orange they got black they got blonde they got a lot of wigs for you guys, which is affordable prices. So if you're looking for a wig that's affordable in your budget range, then go check out Wild Wigs. I will post all of their information down below on this. You know, this is like the sexy grandma hairstyle. You know, this don't even look like grandma hair. You could not tell me that I was somebody's grandma, okay? Not with this funky hairstyle, girl. Okay, I think I did my thing. So on that note... Your girl's going to go. I will see y'all in the next video. Make sure y'all rate, comment, subscribe. Stay blessed. Stay safe. Have fun. Enjoy your day. And I will see y'all on the next video.